being on black folks and basically what i will do is you got to watch the clocks always watch the tickers okay so here we go with some more truth and data it's going to blow your little so you can always throw it in somebody's face like it's exactly what exactly and he's the truth all the time so here you go and you can see the clock it's 121 and that is pacific standard time okay uh hawaii standard time okay you can see that clock over there and you can see and you know what there okay now I'm gonna basically be posting I think I've got a video and then this will be uh, the Sun and also the other Sun to the right that we know there and also we got masses there's tons of stuff in space okay and we get tons of holograms and yes people need to realize whenever they've had a camera flare it's always showing you what's out there and what light from the sun in the supergiants has ever exposed to you and every time there is usually always through whatever calendar 365 days in a year 3,000 years billions of years it's always going to have a different structure to it because it's got different things in front of that sun which is known to be our sun plus we know that there's other suns there right now and then in the evening as you see on February 14th at 1.21 a.m. in the morning, okay? And yes, I'm not even going to waste time going to see if the moon was there or whatever and so forth and so on. It doesn't matter. That's there, okay? And you get the like streaks in the air, and we go along and look and see what we're getting for shots, and we get triangulation stuff that we'll see in the air. Now, we'll move down, and then we get at what hour do we got there now i'm just looking for data folks we basically just go through here okay 7 50 a.m the sun is coming up and then we get a signature of what is it showing there okay and you also had back over here the signature that's coming out there and this to the right is not the sun it is a sun okay so pay attention to everything i showed you in the super giants and so forth and so forth okay we got pleadius and we're just going to basically not trying to overwhelm you here on this on info but let's go down and we're looking at fresh pictures from volcanoes at 13,000 some odd feet, okay? And there you go, folks. All kinds of stuff and stars between us and thy sun. Yes, the sun, okay? Because these are taken during daylight hours. So you get all this stuff that's between us and the sun. Yes, stars are like diamonds and you will get a reflection of whatever star that is that's getting just like a movie projector, folks, right down on to Earth, okay? And yes, they're right to the right, okay? That's not camera flare, okay? It's what's actually out there all the time. That eyeball and that camera is always, whether you've got 35 millimeter or whatever, is always going to show you what's there. And yes, check that huge triangulation star out there, okay? And then you see the light and different suns stacked on each other in a line in the supergiants. You can see boom, 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 boom. And yes, it's not just the one of the sun. Now, there will be, yes, all kinds of this and that from, because everybody's going to want to argue their point, okay? Look at the elevation, okay? Doesn't lie to you. We know the sun's in the supergiants and so forth and so on. Let's go to some footage real fast. And once again, folks, basically triangulations and, yes, big bangs. It wasn't just one big bang, more than likely, okay? And then this, these are fresh. I don't know what they're trying to snake out. So let's. So usually when I don't take time to for everybody, folks. So bam, bam, triangulation there. Okay, triangulation here, and then you just, who knows? And that's what I'm saying. Big bangs, folks. No matter what. Somebody's going, oh, big bang, and he's got his theories, and he's dead on on stuff all the time. That's right. Electrical troubleshooting, ladies and gentlemen, and then you get to the brass ass tax of it, of seeing shit from Shinola, okay? And then the truth, okay? Who's on first? Who's on second? Who's on third? What's actual fact, okay? The truth, not BS, okay? So let's go look at some more shots here. And then you get a little bit more idea of how actually big the sun really probably is, okay? Is it that big? Flip no, okay? Remember, 10 point something Jupiters make the size of the sun, okay? The supergiants exist. And yes, these are flares, and you will see them in the movies, and so forth and so such. And let's go see what's going on in a movie. And we'll have two more of these here to show you. And you got the dates and everything to look at, okay? And triangulation. Don't even care about the planets and so forth and so on, okay? At this point in time for what we're talking So now that everybody can wake up when they're looking at the sun, okay? So you got more than likely 50 or whatever, okay, to the right. We know that that mass is back there. And that was basically more than likely trying to find the back of the screen. 
Yep. So now we'll go ahead and up the size on this a little bit so we can get a little bit of looking at it. Okay, so we'll zoom in and look, and there you know. Okay. And for separation and so forth, and yes, they have layers. So we'll go to a little bit of info on the, but I'm not going to educate everybody. Now, and then you got dark triangulation, you got that and that and that. Okay, and this was basically a fresh shot. Uh, I think we'll have a date, basically. There you go, the 14th. This is everything today, I guess, basically. We can hit the player, and then you're going to get, and basically I'll go to another screen, and we'll have player, and we can kind of come back and look at this, because this is a nice freeze shot where we get an x-ray from the sun itself in the supergiants, in the suns, because it gives us a nice picture to scroll along. And yes, as you can see, that more than likely, there is a lot of stuff right here in this lighter one that is subject to, yes, in certain shots. But they see they got to show the information because all the scientists and everybody wants to see what's going on. Okay? So then stuff gets, and we get the truth, and it's there. You just got to search for it. Okay? So more than likely, we got two of the, two, three, four, five, six of the smaller suns uh, right there, even though, or planets, objects, doesn't matter. And yes, these are CMEs that are coming out from thy sun, and also you get the stack, and then, oh, yes, we have a coronal of the sun, and who knows how many coronals of it, but also when you study the supergiants and you see how much are stacked in front of in each other and back and so forth and so on, there's tons of layers. And you get down to what's actually our sun with lasers, folks. That's how they separate it, okay? They have the technology to be able to time every time they do one of these shots and so forth and so on. Positioning, laser positioning, okay, to describe. And there's a whole new world out there for, they've been studying it for years and have tons of stuff. And they could make a fool out of me any day of the week because they could go, well, we know exactly what it is. And we named it. Yeah, they do, okay? But you can see the light coverage there is a lot of stuff that you get blocked from you on other shots, okay? So let's go ahead and go to movie. This is what we were looking at frozen, okay? So then all these things are massive, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Remember, the Earth is just but one little gray or black little small sand speck, okay? Here, all this other stuff out there in space is humongous, okay? Space is like water. The astronauts practice in water, the pressure of space, and so forth and so on, okay? All this stuff is out there and exists, and these cameras can see for tons of miles, folks. Billions, millions, you just got to get it out and get large objects, remnants, and figure out from distance to this and that. And we get awesome views. And as you can see, when that keeps on flaring right there, there's something huge right there. You see that? How all the atmosphere is space around that object there, right there. You see how that basically hits something huge there by the sun? and bounces off like a beach ball, okay? Because there's huge beach balls like the sun up there, ladies and gentlemen. There are suns in the supergiants that are 78 times the size of the flipping sun. Jupiter is only 10.2 something the size of the sun. You'd have to take at least 11 Jupiters to make the sun. Yes, they are massive. The, sun, the Earth is only but a speck. And I know I get very repetitive on this, but you look at this stuff and you'll realize that when you look there and you think and you see if somebody BS you and say that's a satellite up there by the sun, you don't know flipping satellite. It's exactly what you flip and see with your flipping eyeballs. Okay? Let's go back to the photo. Everybody's getting pissed off in authoritative areas and here yeah, things have to bleed out. Well, I wanna know what the hell's up there. Well, you know who I am? Well, you know who I am and why am I? There you go. So they're starting to explain more of what the camera lenses are on and let's go ahead and see where uh where she's at today, where is stereo. So let's go see what we got today. So when you're looking at shots. And I'll probably get Solar Artist on another one. So you'll get time with this video and stuff to go back to look at the other ones. So we got Mercury and Venus still around. Otherwise, we got all that other st lovely stuff by beautiful, huge picture shots, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go to another shot, okay? We got Mer Mars and Earth. And we would really like to see, I'm sure every taxpaying dollar person would like to see the idea that everything that we know of that we were taught in, uh, yeah, old school, that the idea that they got a laser and they know what something is all the time. They don't just go searching for it on there. They know where the damn planet's at. Why don't they just always let us know where every, and they are starting to, okay? Because people are bitching. They're starting to show us where every little planet is, okay, by putting a name next to it. And we'd like to see that on every flipping shot. And we are starting to see that. As you were seeing some of those movies that the other video I showed you were, they didn't have any sound and showed you the video and they started, they even showed you Saturn on the backside and stuff like that. There's no reason we shouldn't have a, an idea of what something is at all times on the backside, okay? 
or any side okay so then here you got this shot here too so and then we know we got up by the Mars and so forth and so on and these other shots so let's pump this up and see what we can get and this is what the big thing about everything went up to Mars folks is through uh, apologize on the shot there as soon as I click something wrong or something but there you go around by Mars okay we're just stay at 400% so we can kind of just scan around real fast okay then we have the solar panel on the satellite itself blocking out the super giants and the Sun there okay and there you get a size of the idea that even though from distances and so forth because they have to stay away from heat and so forth and so on they can block out the super giants and the Sun with that solar arm there because that's where we get the power for it and that's why all the majority now there could be reserves so if something gets fried they could flip that over and still get uh, solar power okay so and then they've got nuclear power who knows the secrets of the satellite I don't want to dig into that too much yeah because then the next thing you know they start pulling up it's like well, what's he got for a notepad and crap like that well I might have bumped it when I went by too but you know magnetic resonance okay so anyway here we go and we go over to the right we look at Earth, and then you can just pick out all the planets that are around and so forth. They're supposed to be for the structure for the day and stuff like that. Because more than likely, yes, that is Mars, okay? And then we got up there. So then you'll have to watch the next video because I always try to not let people get bored and burn out. We're Americans. It's got to be 15 minutes of fame, or if it's a little bit longer, everybody gets bored and they don't watch the whole thing, okay? So that's the secret on, on that all the time, okay? Interesting star cluster down there, huh, folks? Okay, because you know that that's not the flipping sun, okay? And yep. So what's out our back door to the dark side, ladies and gentlemen? Okay? Because we know Mars and everything over this way is the bright side. We know that's blocking the sun. So at the back door, yep, at the back door. And remember, we're in a goldfish bowl. Remember that. Don't forget to do your little tube of paper. Make your picture and roll it up like a tube. Okay? Yep. So no matter what, this is what the Chinese and everything are getting up there to get a little bit better look at Mars to see what's up and away from Mars also currently because they knew it was coming around so they could take a look at it. And we are, yes, it doesn't take too long to get to Mars right now, just two years, okay? In past, it would take a lot longer. In our last go three, the latest shot, you can see it, CME's hitting something huge right there, okay? Your eyes don't lie to you. And basically, at this one currently, they showed us everything, okay? So, you can get a good look and zoom things in. So, go and get your shots and, and plow in and dig in and get good views of everything, okay? And that's huge, isn't it, folks? Huh? Because basically, yep, bigger than the sun. More than likely, because it's a long ways away from the sun. Just think if it was closer to the sun, okay? And what is? So in this stereo headshot, your eyes don't lie to you. If you look back, blow up your screen even more, and you'll see there's something there. There's maybe more than one. There's one big old shadow, and then there's one planet or whatever in front of it. And you can see it right up there above the remnant area and so forth and so on. We'll come back down here, and you're going to see, uh, you already know that since behind, you'll end up having whatever I showed you there earlier without tongue-tying myself. And then you'll see uh, CME action right here, all that light color and a duh you see from all the super giants in the sun okay so there you go nice plot of what's going on out there and our solar artists will probably be in the next video and basically Bino Black sharing more data I'm gonna say happy birthday to somebody today so Truth and facts and data 24-7, folks. Be no black. So read on. So just read and learn, folks. Live and learn, ladies and gentlemen. Live and learn. Okay, so no matter what, forget the class of the flare. We will get a solar flare today, folks. If you were watching Solar Artist yesterday or anything that watches CMEs, we do have a CME that will. So it's going to be really 
cool observ observations tonight, folks.